Ukrainian fighters destroy a Russian tank on the main road, as can be seen from this video. The 92nd Separate Mechanized Brigade named after Ivan Serko, a formation of the Ukrainian army, carried out the attack at an unspecified location. The brigade said, defend Ukraine and protect its sovereignty, territorial integrity and inviolability. The Ukrainian Strategic Communication Center, STRATCOM, said, a morning is not a morning without fried rusna. Have a nice day everyone. Glory to Ukraine. We reached out to the mechanized brigade for further comment, as well as the Russian Ministry of Defense, but had not received a reply at the time of writing. today in what the Kremlin called a special military operation. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported that Russia has lost about 38,850 personnel, 1,704 tanks, 3,912 armored fighting vehicles, 859 artillery units, 251 multiple launch rocket systems, 113 air defense systems, 221 combat aircraft, 188 helicopters, 710 drones, 167 cruise missiles, 15 warships, 2,781 motor vehicles and fuel tankers, as well as 72 units of special equipment. CIA Chief William Burns said there was no intelligence that Russian President Vladimir Putin was in poor or unstable health. It has long been rumored in the Western media that President Putin, 69, has an illness, possibly cancer. But Mr. Burns joked that the Russian president looked too healthy, adding, he believes that his destiny as leader of Russia is to return Russia as a great power. He believes the key to doing that is to recreate spheres of influence within Russia and he cannot do that without controlling Ukraine. Mr. Burns said the U.S. believed Russia had so far lost around 15,000 troops in Ukraine, with around 45,000 injured. Washington announced in the morning that it would provide Ukraine with more long-range weapons. This despite an apparent warning from the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov that such action would broaden Moscow's military focus in Ukraine. A report released the same day by the Office for Democracy and Human Rights Institutions said Russian forces committed serious human rights violations in Ukraine. The Warsaw-based office cited cases including the shooting of a theater in Mariupol in mid-March and the Kramatorsk train station in early April. Both of these incidents resulted in the death of civilians and could be considered war crimes by Russia, the agency said. The report also details witness accounts of illegal executions, detentions, kidnappings, and cases of torture and sexual violence.